That doesn't help you a great deal in here. You are locked up in here after all. So you can't share in all the great activities people can do on the outside. But maybe it helps to bear in mind that everyone else is having fun. Because unlike you, they can do whatever they please. And let's be honest here. They're probably happy that you're not with them. You're not exactly the life and soul of a party. Um... I've lost the thread. You wanted... Oh, yeah. Right. So, this man walks into the docks. Well, the man is approximately your age, so that's... Old. The doc says, Peter, you won't be around much longer. That wasn't the whole joke, was it? What joke? I only wanted to gently prepare you for what's coming soon. This is not exactly encouraging. Oh yeah, you're right. I give up. You're simply too hard a nut to crack. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Do you know a way out of here by any chance? There is no way out. Not out of this building. Not out of this skin of mine. Not out of this life. I'd better leave you alone in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. Barkeep, one drink, please. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm still serving this gentleman here. But he already has a drink. Don't tell me my job. Those are not spirits. Those are detergents. Well, I guess most of them contain a fair amount of alcohol anyway. This is where the barkeeper mixes his drinks? A broken foosball table. Now I see why the loonies think this is a bar. This isn't exactly Shangri-La. Isn't that... Yes, it's a chair! Isn't that... I'd better not drink this. I have this terrible heartburn and... Coward! Edna? <sighs> Phew, I was starting to worry. Do you need an empty cup? That's not one of mine. That one's plastic. And it doesn't smell like decay. to do that the party is not for you today is the birthday of Peter oh, but please don't tell him the party is here it's supposed to be a surprise we'll see about that you have 
have to promise you won't tell him. Okay. Promise? All right, I promise. Swear it. I swear. Cross your heart. Okay, okay, okay. Cross your heart and hope to die. I swear it, okay? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Interesting choice of venue. What do you mean? Don't you think more people would come if it wasn't in the bathroom of all places? I don't know. It is a surprise party after all. And what could possibly be more surprising? Surprising doesn't do it justice. Appalling or absurd. That's more like it. Oh, yeah? So, where would you have thrown the party? How about the bar? That's out of the question. Peter's been sitting there all day long, crying into his drink. And it's supposed to be a surprise party. He's a little touchy when it comes to his age. I hope the party can cheer him up a little. How about the break room? Huh? No! We never go in there anymore. Three people vanished there once. They were actors. I think they were auditioning for a play. They were never seen again. How about the TV room? No! I loathe parties where everyone just hangs around in front of the tube. How about the recreation room? That was my first thought, too. But King Adrian was opposed. King Adrian? He rules the lounge. He is a wise and just king. And rumor has it that he's... Psychic! He rarely receives visitors, though, I'm afraid. His right-hand man, Drugglejug, is as tough as he is attractive. Any room would have been better. I like it here. Do you know a way out of here? Why would I want to get out of here? There's always something going on in here. The people are nice. Plus, you don't have to feel embarrassed about anything in here. If you forget to put your pants on, nobody will notice. If you want to get out of here, you'd better talk to Emilio. If you can find him, I believe he's currently working on a tunnel. If you get really desperate, you could talk to the key master. But I'd only do that as a last resort if I were you. That guy is dangerous. His solitary confinement cell is on the second floor, though. So you'll have to wait until after lunch. We're being escorted to the dorm then, you know. Keymaster, huh? Keep on celebrating. Oh, I will. Oh, yeah. Turn the lights off on your way out. We'll see. I don't think it's very appealing to put the finger food right next to the toilets. is having a surprise party for you in the bathroom. I know. Don't you want to go? I think she went out of her way to do it. Not even wild horses could drag me there. Why do you think I'm hiding here? Petra, with her constant high spirits, is more annoying than a bag of crab lice. At least crab lice keep their mouths shut. 
better leave you alone in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to... You're right. Would you care for some dip? Is that Petra's bean dip by any chance? Take that away immediately. This unholy flatulent mush has driven many a customer to the bathroom. Few of them ever returned. Got a present for you. It's a bowl of bean dip. Druggle jug. Yeah, it's the same with me and beans. Druggle jug? I see. But I could stand guard for the time that'll take. Druggle jug. Okay. Wow. I simply cannot outwit him. Hey, Alu. Hello, Edna. What brings you here this time? I have one more question about King Adrian. Fire away. I'd like to get to him, but Drogglejug won't let me pass. Oh yes, Drogglejug is as unyielding as his appeal to the fairer sex is strong. Don't get your hopes up. Women fall at his feet in droves. Perhaps it's that intellectual aura he radiates. He is very well read, our Casanova. And he's rather witty in conversation. But even though he might appear rough on the outside, he's very sensitive. How do I get past him? After the king has ordered him not to let anybody pass? Never. He is the most devoted soul I've ever known. He'd grant access only to the king, or some higher authority. Let's talk about something else. Can I have the coat hanger? Normally, but for one, I'm all an I have to get a move on. Take care of your karma. Hello? Hello! Hey! Ho hold on a second. <sighs> yes? Do you want anything in particular? You don't happen to know a way out of here, do you? No. But, but you don't want to get out of here, believe me. The world outside is a cruel place. Mistakes you make out there have real consequences. You could lose millions of dollars. Let's say only because you were distracted for ti tiny, a uh, little, ti tiny little moment when your wife is shouting, Look, Brucie, it's a boy. For example, that kind of guilt will haunt you for the rest of your life. Can I borrow your telephone? Absolutely not. This phone is my lifeline. I don't dare think about what could happen if I was unavailable. Just imagine me putting that thing away for a minute. When my wife is shouting, Look, Brucie, it's a boy, for example. Or worse still, imagine, during that brief distraction, when I look over to my wife, my stock portfolio goes into free fall. I would lose billions because I hadn't been on the phone just for a tiny little instant, one moment of carelessness, and my whole life is in ruins. Oh, oh. Can you get off the phone for a sec? Certainly not. That's my broker on the line. We're talking millions here. Not really important. Go on with your phone call. I was planning to do that anyway. Hello? You're still there? Ah. Tempting.
interrupting. But I'm busy right now. Hello. Hey, you don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a Velociraptor in disguise. I'm Edna. I am Professor Nock. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing back there? I am doing research in the field of paleontology. Behind the armchair? Where else would I be? You won't find a prehistoric skeleton lying in the middle of the room. It would have been recovered a long time ago. That makes sense. Are you one of those mad scientists? I beg your pardon? Who do you think you are? Oh, the youth nowadays. They see a man with white hair crouching behind an armchair in an asylum, and they jump to the mad scientist stereotype at once. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Do you know how I can get out of here? <laughs> of course I do. I always use the laundry lift to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. The laundry lift goes all the way to Peru? Of course not, silly. You have to transfer at the continental shelf in the Sonoran Desert. Do you know anything about Dr. Marcel? More than most. Did you know that he has a dark secret? I knew it! I knew it! Yes. He's breeding dino-human hybrids in his secret facility on Jupiter. No. I didn't know that. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I can't do that. I've got to get to my Peruvian amber mines to recover dino DNA. That's too bad. May I please change the channel? By no means. I need to know how this ends. The fate of mankind depends on it. The dinosaurs become extinct. That can't be. They're just pretending to lull us into a false sense of security. I wonder what they're up to. Are they secretly planning to melt the polar ice caps? Hmm, you can change the channel. I need to make preparations. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. Great. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. It seems to like the program. Of course it does. This is exactly on its level. Tempting. But I don't have the time to watch TV. The only light they're getting comes from the TV set. The artist must have suffered from severe depression. I've always wondered if lamp designers are rejects from the International School of Ugly. This lamp is certainly proof of that. Hello, Professor. Attack of the Pterosaurs! Oh, it's just you. Hello, Edna. How's research coming along? Uh, quite satisfactorily. The only things missing are a couple of dino genes. For my secret breeding program, if you get my drift. That sounds exciting. How does one breed dinos? Oh, do come on. Everybody knows that. Ah, dinosaurs hatch from occlusions in amber. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I've got... That's too bad. I'll drop by again later. If the world still exists then, is what you mean to say. Yeah. Give or take ten minutes. Hello? Hello! Bye. What's that? Bye? Bye. Bye. 
No! Don't buy anymore! Stop buying! Stop buying! What's that? Phew. <laughs> that was close. Hello? Hello! Hey! Ho hold on a second. Yes? Do you want anything in particular? Not really important. Go on with your phone call. I was planning to do that anyway. Hello? A key is missing. I'll leave that on now. It's all trash anyway. So much expression with so few lines. A masterpiece. Poetic and depressing at the same time. A payphone! Finally! I can call my lawyer. If only I could remember his number. Eh, uh, doesn't matter. It's broken anyway. The receiver's missing. A lamp. Somebody has swiped all the cushions from this sofa. Keep on celebrating. Oh, I will! Oh, yeah! Turn the lights off on your way out! We'll see. I've been to the coffee dispenser. Do you want a cup? I shouldn't, really. I suffer from a rare allergy, but I'll take it anyway. Coffee is like greasing your synapse. Just a second. There's no coffee in there. I never claimed there was. Go away, then. That's where you put coins. Let's see if I can crack this open. Nope.
Let's see if I can crack this open. Nope. It's only suitable for coins. Do you need a pot? That's supposed to be a pot. That thing behind me, that is a pot. That barrel over there, with a shovel sticking out? That's not a shovel, that's a spoon. Hmm, a spoon, you say? Hey, don't touch that. That's the only spoon I could find in the whole house. Ooh, this is so 80s. Cut that out, please. I need the darkness, so I don't have to see the world around me. It depresses me. Do you want my potholders? No thanks. Union rules dictate that I have to use greasy towels. Do you want my scissors? At least until I found a rope or a samurai sword. You can keep them. I'm not in a hurry. This negative attitude of yours is exactly the reason your life is so useless. That's a rather personal question. Are you thirsty? Very much so. I can't have the drinks that the barkeeper mixes, however. They are 50% insecticide. Would you like some bean dip? I'd better not. I really prefer total control of my digestive system, you know? Gentlemen, care for a drink. Druggle jug. Not while on duty. I get it. I've got a present for you. It's a pot. Druggle jug. You're not entitled to it. What do you mean? Druggle jug. Ah, I see. Strange. I've got a present for you. Pot holders. Druggle jug. Too bad. I've been keeping them for you for so long. I should have known this wouldn't impress him. I've got a present for you. A pair of pinking shears. Druggle jug. I see. Got it. I should have known this wouldn't impress him. I've got a present for you. It's a bowl of bean dip. Druggle jug. Yeah, it's the same with Druggle. I see. Druggle. Okay. Wow. I see. Hmm. Broken. But why is it so light in here then? Must be the graphic card. Would the gentleman care for a drink? I don't need anything but my telephone and my space. And I've already got the telephone. Are you insinuating something in particular? <laughs> 